what's up guys, <coughs> Phoenix B107 here, and I am back with another tutorial. Uh, last time we built, yeah, this, the password protected door to cover the nuclear reactor, and today I'm going to show you a, it's actually going to be a two-parter, first we'll be setting up a quarry, next we'll be, we are, you should probably already have set up a quarry by now if you haven't already, you know, I, I expect you would have, otherwise you wouldn't have had a nuclear reactor. Um, that's if you're following it in sequence. Probably won't be a sequence, but um, it's going to be a quarry, and then we're going to set up a sorting room to sort all the various ores that come out into separate chests, save us having to fill through all the crap. Um, right, fairly simple. You plop down. Well, like, first you. Right, if you stick it on the quarry, you get a simple. I think it's nine by nine area. Not bad, but fucking. You end up with loads of little holes everywhere, so I prefer to set up. Hello, piggy. Oh, two piggies. At least you have a friend. Set up two. Um, set up large, sorry, even not two. Large quarries. Um, it does take up a lot more RAM on your computer. Um, using. If you're running a server. Single player, not a problem. Uh, boom. Um, let's go over here. There we go. These are landmarks. They're very easily made. Oops. They are made with uh, redstone torches and lapis lazuli. Dead easy. So you plop them down and then you right click on each one of them and it'll join it up. You don't have to join it up if you don't want it. It will still detect it, but it's always wise to join it up because you might have ended up gone up a little bit. You can choose to make it high if you want, but the, the default height size is, f is fine if you're doing it on a level ground. Even if you're not, you know, if you're doing it into a mountain, you can actually, as long as you've got enough blocks to stand around and put the uh, quarry down, it will, it'll be fine. Yeah. It'll dig away into the mountain anyway. Um, I usually do mine out in open ground, that, ground, that way I can flatten it off, uh, seal it up even afterwards, so you can't really tell that I've put a quarry there. Um, so, yeah, you've got your landmarks, then you get your quarry in hand, and you plop it next to one of your landmarks, and it will increase the size. Let me turn on magnet mode. See if the others come running. Um, right, right now though, the quarry is not powered, so we need to power it. Now there are many ways you can power it, power a quarry. Sorry, it's very late. Um, I prefer to use power teleport pipes, which are these beautiful little things. They're quite expensive to make. They do require diamond gears, um, but they are way worth it. Um, if you build it right near your reactor or any MFSUs, they're not a problem, just, you know, stick your cable down, but I like power, um, power teleport pipes, you do get eight, so, you know, from two diamond gears, which are then made by gold gears, iron gears, blah, 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 uh, you'll need them to make the quarry anyway, um, they are way, way, way worth it, so, then you get your wooden, uh, power pipe, and, uh, your uh, actual power teleport pipe, and then um, I think no, is it wooden? No, 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 no. Tell a lie. Wait. I don't. It usually doesn't matter, but there is a definite order to things. That uh, that is a wooden uh, wooden transport pipe, and that is an item teleport pipe. And this will be your sorting. Or this will be your yeah. We'll build the sorting room next to it. There. For now. We will simply do this. It needs to be stone item. I'll explain this in a second. Just let me uh, get it all. Right, we need a uh, energy link. Get rid of that for now. Energy link. Energy links. Uh, I think. Yeah. There you go. Quite difficult to make, if I'm honest. But, um, needed for this. Right, we need wooden there, power there, uh, and already it's starting to chew away my power. Um, energy links only run at like 95% efficiency, so even when they're not powering anything like right now, it's just bleeding away energy. Uh, very annoying, but that's the price you pay for having energy links. Um, otherwise you'll have to power a quarry, I think, with... Um, things like combustion engine, which I'll go through again. I'll set up a oil refinery, 
but they are very, very annoying, very difficult to make. Um, but there you go. Uh, that's not bleeding away too much. You need, right, the rule is wooden to take stuff out and stone to put stuff in and then gold and uh, iron and all the stuff do different things. Gold speeds it up. Uh, iron is a sorting one, I believe. Uh, obsidian is like a vacuum one. Uh, but yeah, so wooden to take the power out. So it's taking the power out of the energy link into the teleport pipe. Now just imagine that the teleport pipe uh, is set a frequency of 100. Uh, imagine it's just connected. So a you know, big cable over here. Frequency of 100 and we won't stick it on receive yet. This value here, switch can receive to true, is what will give power to the quarry, but we don't want it just yet. We need to set this up. So stone to take it in, wooden to take it out. This is transport pipe, not powered pipe, because the items are coming out of the quarry. And into the item teleport pipe, which we will set to 200. It comes out of there, goes into here. That one can be set to receive true. And then stone because it's gone from wood going into a chest like so so then we click that to true and we should there you go it's already starting to work beautifully as well well that's glitching my eyes out and the quarry is building itself rather beautifully rather quickly because it's been powered by a nuclear reactor it's getting all the energy that it can possibly need it will now center itself and then it should start sucking stuff up. Obviously, um, we're going to go down to bedrock very quickly. So, um, the sorting uh, option will have to be manual, I'm afraid. Just imagine we have... I'll show you, actually. Right, so we have... Uh, I believe it's iron pipe. Uh, iron, no, not iron waterproof. Is it iron? No, is it diamond? Damn, I've forgotten. Oh, forgive me, folks. I think it... Yes, it is. It's diamond. Right. Sorry, it is diamond transport pipe. Two diamonds and a bit of glass gives you eight of these things. <coughs> these are great. Now you need your teleport... Your item teleport pipes, again. So you plop one like that. Diamond there. One there. Nope, not like that. One there. One there. One there. One there. And one there. Like so. And then each one of these has a different different value. So we'll set that to one. Uh, that one to two, that one to three, four, five, and six. Then comes the equally annoying part, but trust me, way worth it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you're not going to let me. One, two, three. Uh, bollocks. Like so. Uh, actually, yeah, do I see why I can't do it like <laughs> There's only five there, Liam. Why is there only five there? Uh, right, there we go. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. So. We then set each one of these to one of the frequencies. So one, and we change it to can receive. Then we have two can receive, three can receive, four can receive, five can receive, and six can receive. Then what we do is I'll actually do it differently for this. I will take wooden transport pipe, I'll plop it there and I will put that there. And then, ah, oh, nope, I know what, what I've done wrong. Because you don't have six, 
you only have five. One has to take the stuff in, unfortunately. So that one, frequency of five needs to be to true. Frequency of five, like so. We won't pump them out yet. Um, this is actually going to be quite annoying because of the way I've set it up on a super flat world. So, you know, we've got bedrock. So, but just imagine instead of having, right, basically you want this where it's frequency of 200. In fact, fuck it, I will show you it now. We want dirt to go to black. Simple. Uh, 200 can receive true and get rid of that. What was it frequency 5? I think it was, wasn't it? Was it 5? Yeah, it was 5, wasn't it? Is this one 5? Yeah, can receive true. Why you not take it? 200, 200, oh wait, wait a second, get rid of that for a start, uh, don't have any iron teleport packs anymore, brilliant, there we go, ah, oh, frequency of 6, that'd be why, because it's got nowhere to go. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about this, folks. Basically, yeah. So instead of having this chest there, which I can now just get rid of, well, your stuff comes out. Frequency of 200. Well, you can pick whatever frequency you want, but I'm choosing 200 for now. So the items come out, then they go into this one, which is set to frequency 200, and into these pipes. Now, the frequency 6. They're coming out of black, so it needs to go, yeah, frequency of 6. What, these lines indicate what blocks go where. Um, it would have actually been a lot smarter if I'd had uh, cobblestone uh, or stone transport pipes in between them, uh, like I usually do. So, actually, I might as well. Item teleport. You can't get to black, can you? Of course you can't. Because there's no... Oh, dear me. There we go. I think. <laughs> Finally. Sorry, folks. I pretty much might as well just start this fucking video from the beginning, hadn't I? Um, no, I won't. Fuck it. Carry on. Basically, yeah. Your power comes in. Your items come in, even. This is a bit of a bitch to set up, but there we go. Now it's done. Right. Set. No. Not you. You. To one. You to two. You to three. You to four. Then stone item. Stone, stone, stone. You to one. Can receive true. You to two can receive true. You to three can receive true. Four can receive true. That should actually be five, but I'm going to change it. And then we need butts on the balls. Uh, it's not going to be or is it? Um, let's say, let's see. Actually, no, some of them are going to be ores. So, no, not diamond, no. copper or tin or uh, 
tungsten or no what's the difference between anyway silver or iron or gold or then we have coal um cobblestone dirt basically you then stick the ones that you want to go in whatever places into these so you'll have say precious metals gold silver tungsten diamond we'll actually go into a separate one so that one's green um, iron copper tin coal can go there what else do we have god we have marble can go up there, gravel, gravel goes there, sand and sandstone also go there, uh, what else do we have, redstone can go there, obviously in tech it you will also have sapphires, rubies, emeralds, also uranium. So you have, uh, uranium can go with the precious stuff. Are we down to bedrock yet? No. Right. so tired. <laughs> right, basically what will happen is your quarry will dig up every item and it'll spit it out into this sorting tube. Uh, I think this is a great design, the diamond design, uh, diamond star design even. <sighs> so I'm tired. So it comes in here and it goes into these pipes and whichever, uh, whatever item you have in there it will automatically sort into that type. So blue pipe which leads to this one which is frequency of four which will be one two three four this chest should be so all of that precious stuff will go into there into that chest and then yellow is your gold silver and tungsten will go into three which is this one three can receive true obviously at the minute uh, it's going to six which dirt is the which is the black one, which is the bottom one. Yep. So if we trick the um, right, stick some stone. Can't use bedrock. Set some gravel, some sandstone, some sand, and then we do this. Ah. By the time it gets to this chunk which will probably be a while sorry about that it should actually come over now because it's detected normally if you do that it should do the sand first as well yeah there you go took the sand took the cobblestone sand sand cobblestone should come through there there's the cobblestone and it should go out the black one there's the sand, it should do the same. And it's been chosen where to go, and it's coming out of the black one. Whee! Sand, sandstone, more cobblestone. Yep, spat a bit out there. Is that a different number sandstone? Yes it is, see? Don't know what that's about. That version of sandstone. 24, 2, sand. Oh, it's because of the different faces, isn't it? Yeah, that one's like normal sandstone. 24, 24, 2, not what I meant, but whatever, 24, 1. No. Bloomp and bloomp, yeah, sorry, it's because of the different faces. So you will actually have to have put all of them in there. Um, in a real world, you will also want to put things like, maybe anyway, torches, um, fence posts, because if you dig over a, a uh, abandoned mine shaft by accident, uh, you will suck up everything. Absolutely everything. Absolutely everything.
Uh, right, so let's go for some ores, actually. Let's give this thing a challenge, see what it's going to do. So we'll have one of them, one of them, one of them. Ooh, do I don't have any lapis in. Diamond, redstone, tungsten. Don't have nickelite in either. Uranium, emerald. Um, obviously, you know, you want to put your nickelite in there. So. Nickelite goes. Well, you put it wherever you choose, you know. Put it wherever you choose. Diamond, redstone, uranium, emerald. Yep, got most of them. Let's give this thing a challenge. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Oh, cool. Damn it, it's working too quickly. But there we go. If we watch now, yep, blob of uranium. Obviously, the ore itself, you know, it comes out as what you would mine it at. So, all the nickel is coming out now. Uranium comes in, the nickelite dust comes in, uranium goes to green, yeah, that's where I set it to. And the nickelite goes to, where's the nickelite going to? I'm stuck, and it's going to blue. Yep, yeah, that's exactly where I set it to. Nickelite comes in, tungsten comes in, diamonds, there you go, diamonds are going to green as well. Green. There's your nickelite going in. Well, there's the diamonds and the uh, uranium, and there's the tungsten. Oh, I thought I put tungsten with it. Yeah, there, yeah. See, works like a charm. Once you get it right, might take you a while if you're watching this video. Sorry about that, but it does definitely work. There's the iron going with the redstone. Yeah, and the copper and everything would go with it as well if I'd have put it in, but I haven't put them all in yet. Actually, no, uh, you know, in the quarry line. Um. You have to make sure that you program everything in, because anything that's spare will just, you know, it'll just fly out of it, because it won't know where to put it. Uh, now, what I usually do is, instead of having a uh, alchemist chest there, if you put a energy condenser instead, uh, like that, all your goods will go that way instead. And obviously, you, you know, you, you plot. Actually, I don't think it'll take that. Bring up a stick nickelite in. And it will simply eat up all the crap. All the cobblestone. It will eat up everything and turn it into something useful. Uh, maybe not nickelite, because that'll fill up quite quickly. But obviously, most people aim for the higher level stuff, like your red matter. And it will take a long ass time to eat those up. Don't, won't even take those ores. Interesting. <laughs> So that's how I set mine up. Um, I actually use have about four or five quarries running at the same time, um, all powered by a nuclear reactor, um, or solar panels. Solar panels are actually a lot more effective at charging uh, an MFSU if you have a high voltage solar array. I only have four, I think, because you need 256 solar panels for each one. I'll show you. One high voltage solar array is made up of one high voltage transformer and eight medium voltage solar arrays. Medium is made out of medium transformer and eight uh, low voltage. Low voltage made out of eight normal. So, yeah, a lot of power is required. I can go that way. Oops. This is a uh, classic solar flower but when made with a solar array actually works quite beautifully one solar uh, flower like this will charge that thing very freaking quickly almost I think how many is it is it five or is it maybe six oh, wait a minute are those ones actually charging it we'll find out when I connect them no I don't think they were now they're connected. Boom! Actually, it doesn't seem any different. But yeah, um, I think I think it's six high voltage solar arrays will give you the same as a maximum output uh, nuclear reactor, and they do not overheat. They do not you know, explode. They are much much better, but they take a lot 
lot of resources to get. Uh, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this messy as fuck video. <sighs> but, um, yeah, this is the sorter. Uh, very simple, but very, very beautiful design. Um, uh, John actually pointed out how beautiful of a design this was. I made it on his server, uh, thought nothing of it, just thought, you know, nice, easy. You can probably do without these um, stone pipes, but I don't know, it seemed to be a bit glitchy. And I like to see the stuff flying about. I like to see it, you know, just see where all your stuff's going. Um, in hit on his server, I actually have these lined up against the wall. So there's, you know, one there, one there, one there, one there, and then one on each side to have all the stuff in. Um, that way, you don't, have to, you don't have to tread on these pipes. But there you go. Um, oh, I might as well just let that run out till it's mined everything. Uh, that is a simple sorter. Um, there are other ways of doing sorters using retrievers, which is what we have on my personal server with my friend uh, Mighty Lampshade. Um, he built the sorter and it is a beautiful design. He is Minecraft genius in my opinion. Although his reactor uh, actually blew up on our server. It may have been my fault. Um, I loaded the server to create a pumpkin farm um, for John's server where I have uh, just a hole in the ground and there's just a chest and that's all you can see and you right click on the chest and it's just full of pumpkins. Not pumpkins, sorry, melons. Why would it be pumpkins? Pumpkins are useless. Yeah, it's full of melons and there's just a sign saying don't ask where it comes from, just enjoy it. Um, uh, I could actually build that for you. I probably yeah I'll do I'll do a thing on that just for shits and giggles. Um, but yeah, his reactor uh, blew up, uh, but we built it on the cross uh, the cross of a um, of a chunk. So as the world loaded, it didn't load the section of the reactor where the cooling um, processing was. So say the chunk ended here, you know, it loaded the reactor and the reactor had been left on, which isn't usually a problem. But because it didn't load the cooling section of it, it wasn't getting any ice and it just blew up. Luckily, we built um, a large amount of reinforced glass around it. Uh, actually, is there reinforced glass in here? Is, nope, that's not it. Where is it? It's going to be right in front of my face, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, we actually also cover up. Uh, every section of the reactor, like this bar one, where you can put in extra uranium if you so choose. It takes a while for it to eat up all the uranium, but it definitely does happen. This is what our reactor looks like, like that. So you can still reach in, turn off, you know, go out, stick some uranium, but it does take a long time for it to run out. Um, he also built a section similar to this um, for that reactor but a lot more complicated in my opinion <laughs> he's got a lot more stuff going on um, he also has one to replace the uranium as well if they get low yeah but uh, that one's a little bit tricky but yeah there you go folks uh, one uh, item sorter which as you saw definitely does work like a charm and it's great for if you're running multiple quarries uh, well except those uh, yep, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my other videos. Blah blah blah. See you next time. Bye bye.